In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create your own custom email address on Google Cloud Platform for free. Yeah. Plus, I'll show you guys how you can use that custom email address with Gmail so that you would be able to send or receive mails just inside your Gmail mailbox. Meaning, if someone send you mail on your custom email, you will be receive mails on your Gmail mailbox. Or you can send mails using this custom email just inside your Gmail mailbox. So guys, let's get started and let me show you guys how you can create your own custom email address on Google Cloud Platform. So let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started and let me show you guys how you can set up a custom email address on your Google Cloud Platform. So first of all, we need a email client. So in our case, we're gonna use Zoho Mail as an email client to configure a custom email on Google Cloud Platform. So first of all, let's go to Google and type Zoho Mail and open up this first link. So guys, here you have to click on sign up now. Now scroll down towards the bottom and click on free plan. Now here you have to type your domain. So I'm gonna type my domain over here and then click on add. So guys, here you have to type your name. So in administrator account, you can type info or you can type contact or you can type your name whatever you like you can type over here so i'm going to type my name and next i'm going to type the phone number over here let's confirm this number let's type the password let's retype this password and select your country i'm from india i choose india and then check this box i agree to terms of services and privacy policy once you've done that click on proceed now we need to click on sign up so guys over here you have to type your verification code that you will receive on your phone number type your verification code and click on verify my mobile after that you will be redirected to the next page so i'm not gonna add the verification code over here because i already have account on zoho so i'm going to log in into my different account and i'll show you what to do next so guys now we are inside the main domain setup page here we need to verify our domain so click this drop down button select your hosting provider in our case we are setting up this domain custom email on google cloud we are going to select others and select txt method and we need to copy this entire text copy it and let's open a new tab and let's go to google and perform a google search for google cloud and open up google cloud cloud.google.com and here you have to sign in I'm already signed in so let's click on console all right in the left side scroll down go to network services and click on cloud DNS now select your DNS zone and here we have to set a record set let's click on add record set now DNS name I'm gonna leave it blank let's change the record type to txt TTL I'm going to set it to one minute and the text data field. I'm going to paste this entire text that we just copied from this page. Okay. Now simply click on create after adding this record set. We have to wait for 60 seconds. Let's wait for 60 seconds. And after that, we have to go back to this page and we need to click on proceed to TXT verification. So let's wait for 60 seconds. A few moments later after 60 seconds let's click on proceed to txt verification all right simply click on verify now so guys here you have to decide what you want to add in front of your custom email you can add contact at your domain.com you can type info at your domain.com you can type your name and whatever you like you can type just here so I would like to my email to be info at my domain.com so now here I'm gonna click on skip we're not gonna add user and uh, we're not going to use groups either so I'm gonna click on skip so in configuration email delivery we need to add this MS entry on the Google Cloud platform so first let's copy this MS entry let's go back to our Google Cloud platform over here we need to add a record set Let's click on add record set. So record type, I'm gonna select the MX and the TTL, I'm gonna select it one. So I'm gonna type 10 and then I'm gonna add a space and paste this entry. MX 
www.zoho.com let's go back to this page now copy this so as you can see in this mx2.zoho.com we have to add 20 in front of this text let's add a new item click on add new item and let's type 20 and then press space and paste the next text and next we have this mx3.zoho.com and we have to type 50 in front of this text let's click on add item and let's type 50 and press space and paste the next text over here okay now simply click on create all right so guys now we have to wait for 60 seconds and then we're going to click on MX lookup a few moments later all right after 60 second passed we need to click on MX lookup so as you can see our MX entries are perfect and then simply click on OK now click on next so now we need to verify SPF and DKIM so first of all let's copy this SPF text and let's go back to this page and we need to add this text over here click on this pencil icon and simply click on add item and recently we just added this text now we are going to add another text over here and let's add the quotation mark in the back and in the front and then simply click on the save now we have to wait 60 seconds again let's go back here a few moments later and now let's configure the DKIM click on proceed to configure DKIM button so over here let's click on this pencil icon click on add selector so in here let's just type VFX1 type something very short and simple you can type whatever you like and now we need to copy this text over here do not add dot and let's go back to our Google Cloud now click on add record set so I'm gonna paste the text over here and in the beginning I'm going to type VFX1 that we just type over here and uh, we're gonna change it to TXT record type would be TXT and uh, TTL one minute so in the text data field we're gonna paste the text from here when we click on save and uh, they will give us this text let's select all and copy this entire text let's go back here and paste the text just like that and now we need to add the quotation mark in the end as well as in the beginning of this text now simply click on create so guys now we have to wait for 60 seconds let's go back to this page and wait for 60 seconds so I'm gonna speed this video up a few moments later all right after 60 seconds passed let's click on verify so if your verify button disappear which means you've done a great job over here okay everything is perfect now simply click on back to setup alright guys as you can see now we have the check mark on this tab SPF and DKIM now in this email migration simply click on skip and we're gonna skip this mobile access as well great your basic setup is complete now you can access your Zoho mail by clicking this proceed to access a Zoho mail button so our email would be info at our domain alright guys now we are inside the Zoho mail box you can skip this by clicking over here you can change your time zone if you like by going through these uh, tour click on access Zoho so this is our custom email with this custom email you would be able to send or receive mails alright guys now we have created this custom email address now it's time to show you guys how you can use this custom email address with Gmail so that you can send or receive mails using this custom email address just inside the Gmail mailbox let me show you how you can do that so first of all let's head over to the settings icon so over here look for mail account so this is the mail accounts now we need to click on email forwarding now click on this gear icon so in the reply to email address field type your gmail address 
or click anywhere on the screen and then click on verify so now you will receive a email let's go to your email and here you can see email from Zoho let's copy this confirmation code let's go back to Zoho and paste this confirmation code over here and click on verify alright so as you can see verify button disappear which means we verify this email address now you can collapse this settings by clicking this gear icon now let's just go back to our Gmail now click on this gear icon settings click on settings and now click on accounts and import and in the send mail as section we need to click on add another email so here we have to type our custom email now uncheck this treat as an allies then click on next step so here let's just delete the MX and type SMTP dot Zoho dot com and the port we're gonna select 465 and here we're gonna type our username which is our custom email and let's just type the password over here this would be your custom email password and click on add account and now we need to enter the verification code let's go back to Zoho click on mails over here let's refresh this alright after refreshing this page you can see we have email from Gmail team open this up so this is the confirmation code copy this let's go back to Gmail and paste your confirmation code over here and click on verify alright if you done everything correctly you will see this make default button you can set this custom email as a default if you like so I'm gonna click on make a default so now you would be able to send or receive mails with this custom email just inside the Gmail account alright guys that's the end of this video guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new here because we drop a new video every single week on this channel about WordPress motion graphics and video editing visual effects and many more stuff alright guys that being said goodbye and I'll catch you guys next time